Hey, what's going on YouTube? Here to show you my new boat, the Pelican Bass Ready 10E. The E stands for electrical. When you buy it, it comes pre-ran with wires already. You can hook your battery up here. The wires are ran through the side on down. And you can hook your trolling motor in the front by plugging up in this spot right here. It comes with two rod holders. Um, as you can see, two chairs. This is the 10 feet by two inch one. Um, you can hook up a motor back here and your trolling motor up front or vice versa. Or you can just have your trolling motor in the back, however you choose to do it. Come with two handles on the side, one right there, one right here. You move up to the front, come with two handles in the front. As you see, I already put a rope up here to help me pull it around. It's very light. You know, you can move it around with one person. It doesn't take much. And um, I'll be showing you some additional stuff I will be adding to it. And um, just stay tuned. Some of the accessories I have gotten so far, as you already saw the two chairs in the first part, but this here was a big slab of plywood that I had cut at Lowe's to fit the bottom of the boat. And I'll be wrapping it up in this rug right here, indoor outdoor rug. So I'll be cutting this rug to fit this plywood. Got my glue to glue that on. And so give me a little bit more stable platform to stand on when I'm out there fishing. Um, so I'll be doing all of that in the next video. But then you come over here, I went and bought the battery smart box for my trolling motor hookup. And so, as you can see, the battery go inside and I will hook and I will unhook that to show you that. But on the side, you have a USB port right here. You know, you can hook up some wires to the outside as well. These are some of the features that it has, if you can see that, by Newport Vessel. Then you come over here and it has a Cigarette light on the side. So, now let me open up the box so you can see what's in it and the type of battery that I have. I went to AutoZone to get the battery. And so, let me turn my camera around so you can get a good look at it. This is the battery I brought for my trolling motor. And I will show you that once I go down the line. But this is the battery right here. So I'll be hooking these up to the outside. But in the top of the battery box, you take those wires, hook them up to your battery, and in return, it then gives you the ability to use the ports and everything. And also too, once you hook it up correctly, it then gives you the ability to hook these up for your trolling motor and everything. So, I'm a, and it comes with a strap. Excuse me, I'm doing it with one hand, but by myself. It comes with a strap. You can strap it down and everything. And got handles on the sides and up top. So then I move down to my fish finder. I have a Garmin Striker 4 with the transducer. Here it is right here. This came as a combo pack through Amazon. I bought them both and this here will power that. So I don't have to use my mode, my battery there for just, I can just use that strictly for my trolling motor. So this will power my fish finder. The transducer and everything is in here. I just gotta find the spot where I wanna mount it at on my boat. So if y'all have any good ideas, let me know. I'm open, open to any suggestions. So then we move over to the life jacket. So this on Amazon, but I brought it from Academy Sports and Outdoors. Same place I brought my boat from, if I didn't mention that already. Um, have a couple good pockets on it. You know, nice, decent, lightweight um, life jacket. So, um, should anything go bad, I'll be able to get some help. I saw these on Amazon. These are some rod holders. Not quite sure if I'm going to use them or send them back. Not quite sure um, where I want to put them yet on the boat or if I would use them. As you can see, you can place your rods down here 
but they might, you know, fall off or slip off. So I brought these to where you can mount them somewhere and just stick your rods down inside. So I got that off Amazon. Not sure if I'm gonna use that. So this is my Scotty mount for my fish finder. Like I said, I don't, not sure where I wanna mount this at yet, but my fish finder will only take up just one side of the, of the Scotty mount. It would just come over here, but it will leave all this open. I wanna get a bigger one. So in the future, if I decide to upgrade my fish finder from the Garmin 4 to something bigger, I already have a big Scotty mount for that. And I don't have to go out there and buy another one. So hopefully that saved me money in the long run, like you see on the picture here. So if I wanna go bigger, I already have one. So move down the line, bought some anchor lines from Academy Sports as well. So I'll be hooking these up to my boat in the to the hooks uh, hooks in the front and a hook on the side there. So when I'm docking, I can just hook it up there and tie it off to the dock, tie it off to the dock. And so I have those for that. So that way the boat don't float down the water while I'm trying to get it all set up. But the adhesive, so when I do decide to mount some things, I'll put this underneath of those holes so I can try to seal them up as best as possible. Then it goes to my Scotty mount for my transducer. Once again, not quite sure where I wanna put this at yet, but um, eventually I'll find a spot for it. This is my first boat, so I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm doing or where I want it, but um, I'll figure it out. And once again, if any suggestions, you just leave it in the comments, just let me know. Then on to my trolling motor. Got the mint coder. Um, 50 pound thrust with the 42 inch shaft. So hopefully that's not too long, but we shall see. If it is, I just take it back to get a 36, but um, it has five speeds on it. Once again, I haven't even took it out the box yet, but um, I will be hooking this trolling motor up to my smart box where my battery is at. So in the future video, I'll be putting everything together. Uh, Showing where I'll be mounting things at. I don't know if I'll be using those rod holders. Um, I've seen uh, some Scotty mount rod holders I might get in the future. Um, just want to run down and show you everything I have again. The smart box. Once again, like I said, this is a piece of plywood. I actually got another one cut the same size from this big slab I brought. So I have two like this. I may double up. May, maybe, maybe not. Um... Like I said, I got the carpet, the rug to go on top of here. So that way the plywood would sit in the bottom of here. And so if I want to run any wires or any additional stuff, it can go under that. And it had like these grooves you can put them under. So, so that's all I have for right now. And the next video will be me showing you how I install everything and you know, through trial and error. Like I said, this is my first boat ever. Oh, another thing too, I did have to register as well. So I'm waiting for those tags to come in. Wasn't hard at all. Once I got Also too, I forgot to mention that everything that I have would be in the description below. So if anything you want to purchase like I have, just scroll down to the description and everything is there. I'm not sponsored or I'm not affiliated with anybody. So you'll be able to go out there and check them out for yourself and see if the product can work for you. So stay tuned and um, Leave a like and subscribe to this channel. We'll have more videos and also show me out there in the water. Thank you.